Hey everybody. So in this video, we will explore Crawl for AI, which is a tool that simplifies your web crawling and data extraction, really making it accessible for your LLMs and your AI applications. So with this tool, you can make your LLMs ready in order to build complex applications, rack pipelines, and this is completely free and open source. So it allows users to easily scrape and extract content from web pages. And it has great features here that I'm going to show you. All right. So here are some improvements or major improvement to this tool. So it has um, Docker enhancement. So you can use that through Docker. And it also has the, this, they've removed the dependency of the Chrome driver. So it is now using the Selenium that is a built-in within the tool. And it also has image. So it, it implements the ability to generate text, textual description from the extracted images from the web. So it has improvement on the speed of the, and the performance of the application. All right. So here are some features. So. Like I said, it's completely free and open source. And it also friendly gives friendly outputs such as JSON, HTML, and the Markdown format. So it supports multiple URLs at the same time, and it extracts and returns all the tags attached to your images, audios, and videos. All right, so it also extracts all its external and external links. And yeah, metadata of the pages. It has, you can have some custom hooks for the headers on the authentication as well. It takes screenshots of the pages and yeah, you can execute multiple custom JavaScripts before you crawl and it has various chunking strategies. Okay, so we are going to look at some of the applications. I'm going to show you the simplest and easiest way to build this. And um, we are also going to do the same thing using Streamlit to build an application where you can just put in your URL and it's going to extract the or crawl the, the pages for you and you can download that in a markdown format. All right, so as you can see here, see here is a really simple example that you can implement here. All right, so, so this is a link to my blog website that I um, I've scraped the content, the page. All right, so you can see here. So you have the option to to download the markdown. All right, so I'm going to show you how you do this. Okay. So, so first, we are going to utilize the Colab, a free version of Colab. So really simple. We are going to pip install from the GitHub. So we're going to pip install. So first you go to your runtime and you, so I'm going to use the 800 GPU. So you can use any of this and make sure it's on type Python 3. I'm using Python 3 and I'm using 800 GPU. So you can use whatever, you know, hardware specification that you want to use here. So I'm going to say save and I'm going to pip install this from GitHub. That's the updated version of the crawl for AI. So I'm going to run this. All right, so we are going to import web crawler. So from crawl for AI, we import web crawler. So I'm going to run this. All right, so we are now going to create an instance of the crawler. So we create an instance of the crawler here. So we are going to say crawler is equal to web crawler, create an instance. So initializing that, so using the local Selenium crawl strategy within the web crawler. All right, so now this is, we warm up the crawler, so it loads the models, the necessary models for this. So we are going to say crawler.warmup, we run this. And so first, let's try out this link right here. So here, the next thing is to use your URL placing your url link and your resource you pass your resource to this variable you pass the 
this crawler.run. So you run it by passing your URL here and you store it in the resource. And what I'm going to do is I am going to run this. So this is a link here. So we are going to scrape the data here. So let's do this. So I'm going to run this. And we want to run that in a Markdown format. OK, so as you can see, we have our Markdown beautifully. And this is ready to be used for your LLM. It's really straightforward. So we have all the data here. So it says crawling done for this link and it's successful, it's true. And this is the time it took and content extracted. So this is the content being extracted. So extracting semantic blocks for this. All right, so we have that and extraction done time all right so this is awesome so we have our content extracted okay great all right so this is all that it is so let's try out this link so as you can see we've extracted the content from this page Okay, so let's try out another one and see. Basically the same thing, so let's do this. We have our link beautifully here. We have our data being extracted. Okay, great. And it's in a markdown format. Okay, so this is perfect. All right, so guys, let's do this with a streamlet. So let's create an app like this one. Very simple application. Okay, so to VS Code, I've already created my environment. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. Okay, so you want to create an environment. You go to Python dash M V E M V E M V. So when you hit enter, it's going to create an environment just like this. I've already done that. So you want to activate that. So we say emv slash script slash activate. I'm going to activate this. All right, so you can see the screen emv means that it's active. OK, so what you want to do now is you go to requirements. Streamlet, we're going to install Streamlet and we're going to install this. So we are going to show this command. We are going to run this in our terminal. Okay. So what you want to do now is I've already installed this. So you go to your command your terminal and you type in this pip install crawl for AI from your GitHub. So you click on you hit enter, it should install that. Okay. And now what I want to do now is now you want to install your requirements. So we basically streamlet. So we're going to say, let's do this. Okay. Pip install dash r requirement. TXD. So when you hit enter, it should install Streamlet. That is the Streamlet for you to run the location. That's going to be the framework. All right, when that is done, come back to your app.py. And now we import Streamlet as ST. And so that's going to be the web UI. That's going to be the web UI for the application. And so we import the web crawler. So for the, that is going to use the extract the data and we import base 64. So it's going to import for the encoding to encode the markdown file for download. And now we want to, so we create a function to generate the download link for the extracted markdown content. So we create a function called download markdown 
we pass the content, the file name. So this is going to be the, you're going to download it in a markdown format. So extracted content. So it can be whatever name. We are calling the content as the PS4. So we could have a variable B64 and we pass the, so this basically to decode it, uh, to encode it. Okay, so we create a down, download link for the markdown. So basically, we want to create a markdown link for the file. All right. So basically, put in this download file, the file name. Okay, so this is the Streamlit app. We create an app. We call it main. Pass the title. Crawl for AI Web Scraper or in the name and we url input we enter the url to you want to scrape or extract data and so this is the button to start a cross crawl start a crawl so st.button we pass the url so if url we create an instance of the web web crawler and we warm it up to load the necessary models so we run the crawler and display the results in the markdown format. Really easy, really simple. We pass the URL, we download the markdown file. And so we download the markdown file basically. And we saying that we pass the, the markdown file and else please enter a valid URL. So if the URL is wrong, it's just gonna give us a prompt and we run this using this code. All right, so what we want to do now is I'm going to go back to here. And before we run it, we are going to, okay, let's do this. Okay, so we are going to say streamlet run apply, basically. So now let's put in this link, see how this comes out. So I'm going to say run, crawl. Oh, this is awesome. So we have uh, data extracted. So information here. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to download this. So when we download this, I want that in a markdown. So I want to open that in my, so we have a markdown basically. All right, so this is so awesome. All right, guys, so let's go through some bases here. So we have a markdown here. Okay, so if you, you can really custom this, customize this by using Grok or OpenAI models preferably if you want. All right, so you can just specify, customize that, you specify your OpenAI key, or you can use your crook as well if you want to. OpenAI PI key, and you can, you know, use your Dynamo provider, the, the schema, the extraction type, and they give instruction out of what you want to get from that. So you can use your group as well so i'm gonna it's gonna be in the documentation so i'm gonna attach that in the link below all right so yeah i hope you like this video this was all that i wanted to share it looks exciting and promising so do try it out and let me know in your comment section hope you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe see you in the next one